السلام علیکم ڈیر سٹوڈنٹس ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس دی گریفکل سولوشن آف لینیر ان اکویشنز ان ٹو ویریبلز اور سمپلی ٹو سالو دی لینیر ان اکویلٹیز ان ٹو ویریبلز گریفکلی نا اف وی کنسیڈر یو نو دی لینیر اکویشن ان ٹو ویریبلز دیٹ از اے ایکس پلس بی وائی ایکولس ٹو سی دس از اے لینیر اکویشن یو نو دیٹ اٹ سمپلی ریپریزنٹس دی اسٹریٹ لائن ان پلان بیکاز یو سٹڈی دس ان کلاس ٹینتھ But if we consider the inequalities like ax plus by less or equals to c or less than c, strict and slack inequality and ax plus by greater or equals to c or greater than c. So these are the linear equations in two variables. Now in order to solve these graphically, this is in this linear equation in equation graphically we firstly draw the graph of the corresponding linear equation that is if we have linear in equation a x plus b y less than c then we simply draw the graph of this a x plus b y equals to c or if we have the strict inequality that is a x plus b y greater than c we simply draw the graph firstly draw the graph of a x plus b y equals to c that is corresponding linear equation you know that when we draw the graph this straight line represented by a x plus b y equals to c divides this plan x y plan into two parts into two parts when we draw the graph then we have to check you know the points from both the parts from both the parts now that region or simply that part of the plan whose points satisfies the given linear inequality simply represents you know the solution region or the points from that very region always satisfies the given inequality so simply we can say that a linear inequation in two variables simply represents you know the part of the plan or simply the region of the plan that is called simply called as the solution region like if we consider an example which is actually the question number first of exercise 6.2 x plus y less than 5 now the first thing which we have to do is that we should uh, we have to draw the graph of this x plus y equals to 5 because this is the corresponding linear in equation so how to draw the graph of linear equation you know it by putting x equals to 0 y is 5 while x y equals to 0 x is 5 so this means that these points are actually 0 5 is one point and 5 0 is another point now join these two points it simply represents you know this x plus y equals to 5 so this line this line that is x plus y equals to 5 divides this plan x y plan into two region region first and region second name it region first and region second now in region first 0 0 belongs to r1 because here this is the origin and it is in the region first now when x is 0 y is 0 substitute in given linear inequality it is 0 plus 0 which is 0 and you know that 0 is less than 5 which implies that this 0 0 satisfies this given linear inequality so this means that if we consider any point in this region in r1 it satisfies the given linear inequality while as if we consider you know the points in r second like if we consider point one six because one six is here so this means that this point belongs to r second and if we substitute this point or the coordinates of this point in given linear equality while x is 1 y is 6 which implies that x plus y 1 plus 6 is 7 this 7 is not less than 5 so this means that this point 1 6 does not satisfy the given line, linear inequality so this means that if we check if we take any arbitrarily point in our second it will never satisfy or it will never make this linear inequality as a true statement this means that our second is not the solution region or the points from r2 are not you know the solutions of this linear inequality so simply we can say that this r1 is the solution region without the points on the line x plus y equals to 5 because here we have strict inequality if we have select inequality like x plus y less or equals to 5 this means that clearly the points on line 
on this line x plus y equals to 5 should satisfy which implies that at that case we have to consider you know the r1 as well as the points on this line but here we have strict inequality so this means that we have to only consider you know the points in the region r1 but not on the line this x plus y equals to 5 similarly if we consider 2x plus y greater or equal to 6 here this is select in inequality so we will firstly draw the graph of 2x plus y equals to 6 how to draw the graph of this linear equation it is simply when x is 0 y is 6 when y is 0 by substituting in this given linear equation it is x is 3 so mark these two points x 0 and y 6 and y 0 and x 3 in plan and join these two we get the line 2x plus y equals to 6 that is this that is 0 6 is here point and 3 0 is here when we join these two points this line l1 is simply 2x plus y equals to 6 now this line divides it into two regions one is r1 and second one is r uh, second now clearly this point 0 0 belongs to r1 and 0 0 belongs to r1 and the given linear inequality is 2x plus y greater than 6 so we will check whether it satisfies the given inequality or not now 2 into 0 plus 0 that is simply 0 is 0 which is not greater than 6 so this means that this point 0 0 which belongs to this r1 does not satisfy the given linear inequality so if we check any point if we take any point from this region r1 it will never you know satisfy the given linear inequality while as if we consider clearly if we consider the points from region r2 they will satisfy this because if we consider point 5 0 which belongs to enter this uh, region r2 then 2 into 5 plus 0 which is 10 it is greater than 6 so this means that the given statement 2x plus y greater or equals to 6 is true for point 5 0 this 5 0 belongs to r2 now if we consider or if we take any point from r2 it will satisfy the given linear inequality so this means that this r second points from r second or the you know the solutions which implies that this region r second is simply the solution region also we have here slack inequality so this means that if we consider the points on the line they will definitely sa satisfy the given linear inequality hence the region r second as well as the points on uh, this line uh, 2x plus y equals to 6 will satisfy the given linear inequality hence it is the required this uh, solution region that is this shaded region is the solution region so in this way you can solve any linear inequality by using you know the graphical method so inshallah tomorrow we will discuss you know the system of linear equations like we discussed in linear equations system of linear equations we have their number of methods to solve here we will use this graphical method to solve this system of linear inequations into variables so thank you